in the second of this week's double portion, the Torah teaches us, tells us the story of how Balak hired Bilam to curse the Jewish people. Bilam, God appears to, to Bilam and tells him not to go. And Bilam doesn't listen. He persists and he's on the road and he's riding on his donkey. And the Torah tells us how the donkey sees an angel with a sword drawn at it. And Bilam doesn't see it. And the angel persists with that sword. And then the donkey moves off the road. Bilam hits the donkey. Again, it happens. Bilam hits the donkey. Again, the donkey is so frightened that the donkey goes off the road and, and pushes Bilam's foot subsequently against the wall. Bilam is so angry, he hits the donkey again. Bilam is on his way to curse the Jewish people. The donkey is leading Bilam, so to speak. Bilam hits the donkey. Why is Bilam hitting the donkey? Because the donkey is disobedient. This donkey is not listening to me. I'm trying to get this donkey to go on the road. This donkey keeps persisting, moving me off the road. I'm hitting this donkey. I'm angry at this donkey. Amazing. At the same time that, Bil that Bilam is losing it, angry at his donkey for not listening to him. He is at the same time not listening to God. He's being disobedient. Beautiful lesson can be learned from here and Rabbi Zelig Pliskin's Growth Through Torah points this out that when we find ourselves about to lose it and act in a way that is inappropriate against our, a, fellow per, a fellow man, someone else. Ask yourself the question, am I, yeah, I'm angry because this person's not listening to me. Well, am I listening to God? How does God want me to act against this person? And I can also use this as a cue. When I'm angry at a person for not listening to me, Ask myself the question, well, am I really listening to God? Where is my consistency? This is an, a beautiful tool to help us. It could stop us in our tracks when we're ready to go AWOL against someone who's not listening to us. And it could also help us improve our relationship with Hashem. We can turn an, an incident that could potentially be a real transgression um, in, in, mis, um, in, in not using and, and not dealing with our fellow man in a proper way, taking that, catching ourselves, and turning it into a valuable lesson for connection, serving Hashem in a pure way. Have a fabulous Shabbos. Thank mm -hmm. you.